So I'm here in Moama with David Mann, man of our town. How are you? I am fabulous at Marul Caravan Park and a little bit cool today, but normally at Moama it is beautiful weather, but it builds up an appetite. So I'm all set, Khan. Look, I've got something that's quite filling for you. It's comfort food for me. Have you heard of a bun me before? A big environment. <laughs> so I'm, I'm showing you how to make a lemongrass chicken bun me today which kind of translates to, well, lemongrass bread roll. Now, hang on, banh mi, is that Vietnamese? It is Vietnamese. We're not doing a very traditional banh mi. I've got a couple of things that have changed a little bit here, but that's fine. This is my interpretation of it. Let's get started. Could you do me a favor and hand me the lemongrass? So this is yeah. a really beautiful flavor. It's a little bit stringy, so we're gonna get rid of the outer bits. I'm gonna get rid of that. We don't need it. Gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna give him a nice little crush. <laughs> I'm glad Khan's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to chop him up. We're on, we're on the road in our Supreme Territory caravan and uh, I'm learning how to cook and Khan is creating some magnificent dishes. <laughs> we're putting that just over our chicken. Uh, I've got some garlic here. We're just going to do probably about two cloves of this. Give him a nice crush. It'll make peeling so much easier. The skin will just come off. Do you ever use a garlic press? I do use a garlic press. Have you used a garlic press? Once. I thought it was a stapler. <laughs> and I went, you do this. Why would you be stapling garlic? No, but it just looked like a stapler <laughs> and you put the garlic in the middle and it comes out the bottom <laughs> and it was the first time I'd used it. All right, so that's just going to go straight into there. Now, I've got a chilli. Oh, yes, okay. A little, a little not too much. I'm just yep. going to add a tiny bit just for flavour, not for heat. If you don't like chilli, I still think that you should use a long red for this, but don't add too much of it. Again, flavour. Don't worry about the seeds. If there's no seeds, no heat. Could I please have the spring onion? Yes, I know these. There they are. Thank you. Beautiful. So with this marinade for the chicken, I'm going to use the spring onions, but just the white, sweeter part. And there's somebody passing us on the beautiful Murray River here at Moama in their boat, and they're probably looking up going, oh, we can smell something nice. <laughs> So I've got a little bit of fish sauce, about three tablespoons. I just put a little bit of um, sugar into there, a little bit of this white pepper, and also could you put in a little pinch of salt for me? A little pinch of salt. I'm used to doing this now. And spread it. Yep. All right, that salt, looks lovely. Salt in moderation is good for you, isn't it? Yeah, and the reason that we put salt in, even though the fish sauce is quite salty, is it binds all those flavours. So the lemongrass, the chilies, the garlic, everything that's in there now, the salt helps it kind of become friendly with each other and coat that oh. chicken. All right, so we're gonna leave this to marinate for about half an hour now. You can do this if you're on the road early in the morning, have it done, pop it into your fridge, come back around lunchtime, grill it off, and it'll be beautiful. And I think we've got an audience coming. I can, the birds are on their way. <laughs> it's like the movie. <laughs> they can smell what we're cooking. They have some wonderful paddle steamers here on the Murray that uh, people can just go for a leisurely yep. cruise and uh, they can wine and dine on them. That's been half an hour now. I think it's time to pop that onto our cold grill here. It'll probably take about five minutes on each side to cook these all the way through. Okay. Straight on. We won't disturb it. Leave it there, let it do its thing. Next up, let's get started on our vegetables. Now, could you please pass me the carrot? So what I'm gonna do is just give that a peel. Yep. We're gonna actually eat these. Don't worry about the skin. It's really good, full of fiber. So wash it well. Wash it well, but don't worry about peeling it. Is there a trick to washing vegetables? Because I just think you just pop them in the sink, cold water, or could, should mum, you use? Mum always would do it in salted water. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There's another tip. All right. So that's gonna be the filling in our little bun mi. I've got some cucumber here. I'm just gonna slice the end off. I've obviously use the other half in another recipe. Yep. Could I please have the spring onion again? Spring onion, here we go. So with these spring onions, what we're gonna do is we use the white part just to put into our marinade this green part we're actually going to put inside of our bun mi's. I'm going to use, I'm just going to slice this into nice little shards. So all of these things here are what we're going to put inside of our bun mi. Great. So this I reckon has about another minute or so. There's a nice char on that top end. Mm. So let's get on to our sauces. So I know that is chili that isn't your favourite thing but we're going to add a tiny bit of chili to this sauce. Just a little bit just for Tiny bit of heat and flavour. Yep. 
Into that, a tiny bit of this soy. Into this, a pinch of white pepper. Yep. That's our sauce. Simple as that. Simple as that. That's looking perfect. I think it's ready to come off. So if you want to grab that off for me and okay. just put it onto here, we can just rest it. Beautiful. Nice. No fat coming out of that? Yeah, lovely. I'm going to slice into that a little bit later. I will. In a bun me, the bread roll is always really crusty and crispy on the outside. So to replicate that, I've got a baguette here. And I'm actually just going to place it over those coals, give it a nice turn every like 10, 15 seconds. So it gets a nice little crust on it. That's looking beautiful, That's all good. toasty. I'll move these out of your way. Thank you. I'm just going to slice into him. We don't want to go all the way through, just enough to fill uh -huh. the baguette. Perfect dish to have this in front of your caravan. Yep, this is good for when you're on the road. Something simple, nutritious. Mm, and it can feed a whole family. Could you please pass me that little um, knife? This one here? Yep, and I'm just going to put a little bit, bit of butter on the inside of that baguette. Don't break it's nice open. and warm. No, I won't break it. <laughs> don't break the seal. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of butter just through there. Gorgeous. All we're going to do is spoon some of this sauce that we made a little bit earlier. You know, the, you know the problem with this? Once we've eaten it, I feel like a nana nap. Just a good meal, <laughs> yeah. lay back, have a sleep. Yeah. Some of these carrots, yeah. they're just going to go straight in. A bit of art. A little bit of art. Twirl it around a bit. Thicken her up. Some cucumber. That's going to go in. I'm going to ask you to oh. slice up the chicken. How's this? With the knife? With this knife, please. How big do you want the slice? <laughs> really thin slice. Oh, I was hoping you were just going to say half and <laughs> half. <laughs> all right, let's see what I can do. I can't. Yeah, nice. Uh, you watch. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Got him. That's all right. You notice I'm keeping this a long way from that called a finger. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. The other piece. It's quite, yeah. it's quite crunchy too. Yeah, that, that, it's, it's that beautiful charcoal forming a crust on the outside of a chicken, caramelising it, which is just flavour. Oh, the last bit. You're doing very well. All right. Get that. How was that? I saw you stole a little piece. Beautiful. All right. So I'm mm. just going to place all of these beautiful pieces of charred chicken mm. into our roll. And that has a beautiful taste card, mm. that chicken. Another little bit of this dressing all over it. Mmm. Just to add... A little so bit more good. saltiness and a little bit more heat. Some spring onions. I was wondering, you're not going to fit all that in there? No, 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 no. I was just prepping it, ready. That can be a little salad, though. Mm. A little salad, dress that. Waste not, want not. My final little piece of garnish, really helps with that flavour, is the coriander. Only on your half. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure that it's only on my half. I'm sorry, Carl, I don't know what it is, but both my wife and I cannot stand coriander. I'm going to slice him now. That's my half here. That's your half. Have a bite of that and tell me what you think. I don't like being a messy eater. <laughs> it's far more than ingredients in a bread roll. There's, yeah. a real, there's a real taste to the roll. Yeah, it's, it's really flavoursome. You toast the roll, it gets really crunchy. It all goes really well together, especially with the freshness from the cucumber. Mm. Very nice. Very simple and enough to feed family four. Nice little lunch that you can marinate early on in the day. Come back, cook it off, assemble it. That is my lemongrass chicken bun me. Give it a go. I recommend it. <laughs>